let's talk about the viability of using old dead lead acid cells. Now, I'm not talking about chronologically old, like these ones, the red ones, they're about a decade old, but they're still really good. They're almost like brand new because they've been just sitting in a, in a warehouse for 10 years and they just haven't been used. But these green ones, they're only about, I think, six or seven years old, but they have had a hard life. They've been in, a, in the laptop battery of a laptop that a salesman had always plugged in on his desk. And so basically they've simmered to death throughout their entire life. And a few of them have short-circuited. And those ones that short-circuited drug all the other ones down and drained all the power. Now, now I have been charging this battery for about two hours now at 4.1 volts. And it, it started out at 5 amps. Now it's down to half an amp. You can tell when it's starting to charge because it's the, the amperage that it pulls will slowly go down. Now, let's look at this chart. You can see that the charging level or the charging relation between the capacity and the voltage, they aren't always linear. It isn't just like a straight line across. Whenever you first charge it, it jumps up really high in voltage. And that's only, a, a, like, one volt is like half of a percent. Then two volts is like two percent. But when we start getting up here, one-tenth of a volt is like 15 percent of the battery capacity. I'm charging, now let's check the voltage. I have these these magnets, and they come in handy quite a bit. Bring 4.07, 4.08 volts. Now let's test it under load. So it's been about 52 minutes, and let's take it off. Ah, fuck. So, the green battery has worked its way up to... It lasted 50 minutes. That's pretty good. A lot better than I thought it was. I thought it was going to be a battery I have to throw away. Now we shall test this one. It's never been used. It's 10 years old, and I just charged it on my laptop, and then I took the battery apart. So it's at 4.07 volts. Whoa, the voltage is going down pretty quickly now. <laughs> it's getting quite hot. It's been 53 minutes. So the red cells actually fared pretty much the same as the green ones. Although the green ones were held not out pretty good whenever they reached 2.7 volts. The red ones... Once they hit like 2.6 or something like that, they started plummeting, doing a death spiral. So, the red one and I believe the green one also are Sanyo batteries. Now let's try a Panasonic. I've heard these ones are the best, so I hope it beats the other two. I hope it gets up to like an hour and a half. So, let's get going.
So, the Panasonic battery only lasted 15 minutes before it really started plummeting, which it still is right now. I don't know for sure when to say it's the end, but I'll just say it ends whenever it starts plummeting in voltage really fast. And it goes back up to 3.8 volts. Not bad. Oh, and just FYI, I'm not saying that all Panasonic batteries are bad. Uh, these ones had been through a lot of use. The original battery that it came in for my IBM ThinkPad X24, I think it had like 450 charge and recharge cycles, so that was quite used. So, the Panasonic battery only lasted 15 minutes. Strange. But it was very used, so... Oh well. So it seems that these batteries are only 1.6 amp hours at most. I was hoping they were 3 amp hour. Darn. That means that my electric bicycle is not 18 amp hours. It's more like maybe 10 amp hours. So I hope you found this video informative, even though I didn't really prove anything new. But I gave, I got us some numbers to work with if we have to guess the capacity of old batteries. If you, and if you have any questions, please ask them in the comment section below, because that'll be, I find it fun to answer questions.